how can we instead of having this zero let's provide some name to this let's say a number or winnings or whatever so how can we do that is Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the series where we are trying to learn Python by solving interview questions from top tech companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. If you are preparing for any of this role, this is a great series to follow and build your concepts. So yeah, let's jump right in. In this video, we are going to solve the question on status scratch regarding find the genre of the person with the most number of Oscar winnings. This question has been asked in Netflix interviews and it's a great question if you're preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst or ML engineer roles. Okay. The question reads, find the genre of the person with the most number of Oscar winnings. If there are more than one person with the same number of Oscar wins, return the first one in alphabetical order based on their name. Use the names as keys when joining the tables. Okay, so we are given two different data frames, Oscar nominees and nominee information and our expected output is a pandas data frame which only one column, the top genre of the person who has won the most number of Oscars and if there is a tie, the person whose name comes in alphabetical order first. Okay, so let's inquire about these data frames, Oscar nominee. So you have six different columns, year, category, nominee, movie, uh, winner and ID. So from this data frame, what all columns we are mostly concerned about? What is the name of the person, nominee and whether the person won or not? Okay. And then let's move on to another data frame, nominee information. Here you have five different columns, name, person ID, top genre, birthday and ID. So from this, we are concerned about the top genre because this is what we ultimately need to output in our data frame and the name of the person because this is important to merge the information with the Oscar nominees. Okay. So since we just looked at the information that we are looking for is separated in two different data frames. So obviously, logically, the first step should be to merge the information at one place. So let's start with that. So merge the nominee information data frame. Now, here, if you look at it, the question itself tells you which column to merge on, right? Use the names as keys. But the problem is that in our Oscar nominees, the name of the person is stored in a column named nominee, whereas in nominee information, it is stored as name. So in such cases, when the column is same, but the name of the column is different, you cannot use on directly. You need to provide, okay, from the left table, what is the name of the column you want to join on? And from the right table, what is the name of the column you want to join on? So left on nominee and then right on the name column, right? So right, this is the right table nominee information and the above one is the left table. Now, once we have this, then we also need to provide how to pe perform this join. So obviously for every nominee, we want the joiner. So you can go ahead with left join, but I think going ahead with the inner join is more useful because if you do not have that person in your nominee information table, then obviously you cannot get the joiner, even if they have won multiple times, right? So we do not need that. So that is why I'm going to perform an inner join. Now, let me go ahead and run this. And before I run, the, here is some quick fact about it. So here, if you look at the Oscar nominees, you have a column called ID and in our nominee information as well, you have a column called ID. So after you perform a join, Python says that, okay, since the name of the column is same in both of these data frame, it will ultimately assign it as X and Y suffixes. Let, let us look at it, right? So if I run, run this, so now this column, which was ID initially is assigned ID X and this one is assigned ID Y. Okay. Nevertheless, now once we have the information at one place, what we need is Firstly, we are looking for winners, right? Most number of Oscar winnings. So obviously we need to keep only those rows where winner is equal to true. Why true? Because this is a Boolean value, right? It is not a string that it is, it's not written false. It is true or false Boolean values. So what we can do is either you can perform Boolean indexing or what we can do is a easier method is just use the dot query method to filter. So dot query, what we need is the winner column should be equal to equal to true, right? And then if I go ahead and run this, so now you are left with only those rows where the person actually did win the Oscar. Okay. Now, once we are done with it, then what we need is who has won it the maximum number of times. So 
what we need to do is let's group by the nominee however in our output what we need is we also need the the top genre right now just look at the nominee information data frame so here you have basically every person and the top genre they may be act in so irrespective of whether the person was in a particular movie and maybe that movie is not in that particular genre but what when you join the information what is the top genre that russell crowe will have whatever is present in the nominee information that is drama so you see what we can do is we can not only group by the nominee we can also go ahead and group by the top genre column as well so that we it makes our calculation much easier otherwise what, what you would have to do is you would first need to find the person then based on that person you need to go back to the nominee information and gather the top genre but you do not need to do that if you just go ahead and group by both of these columns simultaneously because remember you are not grouping by the genre of the movie the person acted on it you are grouping by the top genre of the person which is going to be exactly same in every case so what we can do is we can go ahead and do group by the multiple columns so nominee and then top genre and then what we need to do is now we have learned about dot aggregate methods right so what we can do is we can say dot aggregate and then provide the name of the columns let's say count and then take any of these columns and perform a count a couple of videos back we also learned about a difference between count and size let's in this video try to use the size and see how we can do this question using dot size instead of dot count does exactly the same thing just the syntax is different let me go ahead and do dot size so basically what we are doing is okay since we grouped by the nominee and top genre and trying to find the size basically means how many times each of this person has won the oscar and since we grouped by the nominee and top genre we need to have that as column so we reset index let me go ahead and run this again let's see what do we get so now you have nominee top genre and zero is basically coming up from the size and this is basically what the number of times this person has won the oscar okay now what we need to do is how can we instead of having this zero let's provide some name to this let's say a number or winnings or whatever so how can we do that is before reset index and after size you can just say two frame that is two frame and then provide the name of the column that you want so let's say we want it as number so now if i go ahead and run this what we'll do is it will change the name of the column so now what you have is nominee top genre and the number of times they have won the oscar let's save this entire thing in a data frame called df now what we need is who has won it the maximum number of times so that means from this number column you need to perform a rank in descending order so that the highest number is assigned rank equal to one so let's make a column called df rank which is basically what take the number column that is number of times person has one dot rank method is equal to dense why dense because it is possible that say two or more people have won the same amount and if you are going from one person to other you do not want to skip rank so method equal to dense and ascending is equal to false why because we want rank equal to one to be assigned to the highest number of winning person now let's inquire about this data frame df that we just created so if we look at it now maximum number of winnings is two i guess and it's assigned rank equal to one so now we are only concerned about people who have won it the most number of times so again we can perform a filter so let's do that df dot query take the rank column which should be equal to equal to one let me go ahead and run this so now we are left with two people christopher walls and daniel day lewis both in the drama genre have won it two times now what we need is here you have top genre same but it is possible that the person might have a different top genre so in that case if there is a tie the question asks you that if that is the case return the first one in alphabetical order based on their name so what i need to do is we need to sort values by the column called nominee and by default it is ascending let me go ahead and run this it is not going to change anything but we just need to make sure that our solution is generalized now we only need to return the top genre so and that should be as a pandas data frame so we can provide the name of the column 
and then if i go ahead it will keep only top journal but again if you see it is both of the rows is present we do not want that we all want the only the first part so since we already sorted what we can do is just keep the first row so head one let me go ahead and run this so now if you look at it our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit this to pass all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it so if i just drag it down this is how the entire solution looks like what we basically did was since the information is in two different tables we firstly performed a join and since the name of the columns are different we use left on and right on performed how equal to inner then we filtered only those rows where person actually won the oscar then we grouped by the nominee and top genre so that we can count how many times each of this person has won the oscar we used a new method that we learned about in a couple of videos before that let's use dot size to get that count and since we want to name that column to something we use the two frame and provided the name and reset the index so that we can see nominee and top genre as columns once we have the information then we based on the number of times they won it we performed a ranking in a dense method and ascending equal to false so that rank equal to one is assigned to the maximum number of winnings we kept the only those rows where the person has won it maximum number of times sorted by nominee in ascending order kept the only column that is required in our output and the only row that is required in our output so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video